me just ask a question. The gentleman on the wall there who's looking in the plate glass window and who has these incredible trousers on. Did you make those trousers? Did he make those trousers? Did you impose those trousers on him? Is there any artifice going on there? How do you describe that? It's classified information. And the same of the, the other picture there with the woman trying on the dress? That's also classified information. What you see happening, happened. That's all I have to tell you. How it happened is secondary to the fact that it happened. And let's imagine that I found this man on the sidewalk and got him to do what he was already doing. Or if I had deliberately reconstructed that, what's the difference? I mean, there is obviously a difference factually, historically, and so on. And in photography, that difference matters. Artistically, in photography, it can't matter any more than it does in any other art form. In painting, it doesn't matter. In sculpture, it doesn't matter. In theater, it doesn't matter. In cinema, it doesn't matter. It only matters in one art form, and that's photography. And that's why we have to deal with it. Well, what was the starting point? Um, kind of a memory from 30, 40 years ago that came back unexpectedly. When I realized I liked the subject, the question was how on earth could you photograph that? The impossibility of seeing it was one of the triggers for it becoming interesting. So on that side of the dressing room, you know there will be a mirror because on the opposite side of the curtain, but it's not a mirror image, because if you look at the hangers, they say Barney's on them, not backwards. The curtain is closed. No one's got access to see into the dressing room. You're not allowed to have one-way mirrors in dressing rooms. You can't have surveillance cameras in dressing rooms. These are all facts that if you analyze the picture, you will have to come to this conclusion. Therefore, the only thing that you can be seeing is what the mirror sees. So that's a picture that can't be made. This caused many interesting difficulties. Barney's is a store you can steal from. So of course I had to go to Barney's and take photographs of the dressing rooms and measure them and get every detail and then copy the thing. What I've told you is something that I believe if you pay attention to that picture and enjoy it and look at it and get involved in it, you'll, it'll come to you. And when it comes to you, it'll be exciting. You know, the most beautiful artistry is hidden, but there's no secret. It's not like it's a secret. It's a condition.